Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the Greek sword using the horse partitioning scheme. Now, let's begin. I'll just recap a little about what a Greek sword is. A Greek sword is a divide and conquer algorithm, and the idea is to have a pivot move the elements smaller than the pivot to the left and larger to the right. With the horse partitioning scheme, we start with having two pointers at two ends of the array. The left pointer will keep moving to the right until it finds an element that is larger than the pivot, while the right pointer is going to keep moving to the left until it finds the element that is smaller than the pivot. And they just keep repeating this process until the two pointers crosses each other. So similar to the quick sort using the Lomuto partitioning scheme, the sequence is going to be to first set the pivot as the last element, then we partition the array according to the pivot, then sort each pivot using the quick sort on the left and the right partition. Now let's write this in pseudocode. For the horse partition, we will need a pivot, which will set it to the last element of the array. Then we'll need two more pointers i as the first index and j as the last index of the array. Then we'll repeat the partitioning process until the two pointers crosses, so while i is less than j, then inside here we keep incrementing i until we find the first element that is larger than the pivot. And the same for j, we'll keep decrementing j until we find the first element that is less than the pivot. Once we've found them, we'll swap element i and j. Then we'll just sort the left partition and the right partition. And that's all for our pseudocode. Now let's code this up. I'm just going to use the same file for the Lomuto partitioning scheme. And I'm just going to call this function horse, as in the horse partitioning scheme. The function will take in three variables, the array, r, the low, and the high. Let's start with setting up the variables. First, we need a pivot, which will be set to the last element, so array at high. Then i will be set to low, and j will be set to high. Next, we're going to repeat until the two pointer crosses, so while i is less than j, because once i is larger than or equals to j, it means that the two pointers have met or crossed each other. Now, we'll keep incrementing i until we find the element that is larger than pivot. So while array at i is smaller than pivot, we'll do i plus equals to 1. And the same for j. While array at j is larger than the pivot, we'll decrement j by doing j minus equals 1. After the two loops are over, we swap them. But before we do that, we should first check whether the two elements cross each other or not, because if they already crossed each other, it means that the element are actually in the correct partition. After swapping them, we then increment i by 1, just to make sure that the loop doesn't keep repeating endlessly. Now, once the loop is over, we'll then sort the left partition and the right partition. We'll sort the left partition by calling itself and pass the current array, the current low, and i minus 1 as the high. As for the right partition, we'll pass in the current array, i as the low, and the current high as the high. Before we finish this off, we need a base case to help the program to stop calling itself. We would want to stop the loop when the pointers cross each other, so basically when low is larger than or equals to high. When that happens, we will simply return. Now let's run this. And here you go, a sorted array. For the time complexity of this algorithm, the best case and the average case is an O and log n. If you want me to explain where this log n comes from, please comment down below and I'll consider creating another video for that. However, contradicting to its name, the worst case is actually an O n squared. And what the worst case is depends on how you choose the pivot. If the pivot is chosen from the rightmost of the array, the worst case is going to be the reverse array, while if the pivot is the leftmost element in the array, the worst case is going to be a sorted array. Why? Let's see an illustration here. If the pivot is the rightmost element, when we partition the array, we'll be getting two partitions, one of size n-1 and the other of size 0. 
When we repeat this partitioning process until low is larger than high, we're basically going to do this n times. And inside each iteration, i and j are looking through all the elements, which is another n iteration. Therefore, the time complexity is an O n squared. And that is all for today's video. I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, check out this playlist of algorithms that I've created. See you again next time. Bye!